Hi. It's me again. Um, so... By the way, the music is quite loud for this game. I'll turn it down a bit. Um... But, uh, when I went to options... Whoa! <laughs> Oh, uh, um, so, UI, <laughs> well, yeah, so, anyway, <laughs> that aside, um, hi, it's me, she, once again, and now we're gonna play Thrall, and this game, I literally was just scrolling through um, Ichio, and I was like, oh, wait, I haven't seen this one before. <laughs> and here we are! <laughs> scrolling through Ichio, scrolling through this Booktober page. Yeah. So, but it's pretty short. They said it's like 10 to 35 minutes, but it's like, but it's got some point and click puzzle stuff, apparently. I'm not sure. It is Renpai. Um, and the art's really cool. And the story is us. It's, by the way, it's an ultimate type of game, so... Um... Which is fine, I'm just not good at them. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Anyway, so the story is us, the- We are a paranormal investigator, but I forgot what our name was. What's this our name? Estrala Johnson. Okay, Johnson Johnson? No. <laughs> no. Estrala Johnson, okay. Greatest paranormal investigator in Crescent City. Yes. Okay. And then all of a sudden we are dead. And um the reason we are dead is because our two lovers plotted our demise. So when you say lovers, does that mean us, the main character, was two timing them? Or what is this? Cause if this is not a consensual uh, multi-person person relationship, then, uh, <laughs> uh well, uh, I'm sure it's fine. Probably. But yeah. And so, instead, now that we are dead, we have to figure out how we died, right? We just know it was plotted by our lovers. But we don't know the details, I guess. Um... So, right, uh, I'm not quite sure how uh, good of a romance this is because it's starting out to be kind of a red flag, <laughs> but I'm sure it's fine. It's an ultimate game. Uh, when has ever- when has ultimate games ever wronged us before in the past? Is that- am I right? I'm so right. Nothing good ever came from being enthralled by the supernatural. Oh right, also it's partially voice acted. So. Or paranormal. Honestly, the distinction doesn't mean much in Crescent City. Oh wait, let me turn the volume a little louder. louder. Because being enslaved by their bewitching powers has led many astray in the other world. I mean, case in point, I'm speaking from the grave because I got in too deep too fast. In this perilous border city, separating the mundane from the magical, I staked my career. A human reporter navigating the seedy underbelly of a world, dominated by near-immortal monsters. Until I went too far, and got ensnared in a trap that cost me my life. Well, that is before I came back from the dead. And now I'm back on the case, uncovering the crime of the century. My untimely demise by the hands of one, or both of my lovers. Hmm... Okay, Estrella. Um, the text is Deja Vu Sands, but I mean, it's fine if it works. So this is a little infuriating. Apologies, but it does irk me a little bit. Okay. <clears throat> anyway, where am I? Anchor courses through me, laced with fear. I have wandered through these. I've wandered these hallways endlessly. For what feels like years, yet I have not found a way out. This also is... never mind. 
My head aches, and what is left of my body is slowly but surely disappearing. The only thing I can cling onto are my memories. Even those are starting to fail me. Distorted by visions, I can't decipher. Melting away as my head is flooded by white noise. The call of the void. Did the ghost die a second time? If so, I don't want to find out. I need to get out of here and track down the men that have imprinted themselves so deeply within my psyche. That even in death, I know I'd recognize them instantly. What should I do? <laughs> bah! <laughs> Armed with a pen, a notebook, my wits, and what's left of my ghastly body, I roam through the halls of the tomb-like tunnel, searching for an escape route one last time. Oh! Oh, hello? <laughs> I fall to the ground after dashing towards a source of light, trapped between a ravenous wolf and a reanimated corpse. I know these men. Zane P Pagan and Lazarus Lockhart, my monstrous lovers that have haunted me from beyond the grave. The werewolf shoves a picture in my face and growls, while the vampire snarls with a demonic grin, offering me his bloody claws. Pathetic. We won't- oh wait, that's Zane. Oh, <clears throat> oh pathetic. We won't tolerate you refusing to accept the truth again, Estrella. I've waited far too long for you to awaken, sweetheart. Ready to go and escape now. What's happening to me? No, 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 no! Oh. My body is falling apart. I can feel my heart giving out like an unwinding clock. Tick tock, tick tock. The sound of my dying heart. As this wretched, ghostly body of my drip drops into a puddle of mush. Music's a little loud. Oh, pity. Yet again, she can't accept the truth. Hello? It's a British voice? That's not what I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> oh, how many rare black moons must come and pass until Estrella frees herself from her delusion of sainthood? Hmm, Zane? My mind is unraveling. False memories flood my entire being, evoking nostalgia for a life I never lived. I am haunted by visions of a fallen, wicked woman without morals or limits. All we wanted was for our sweet, corrupted pup to return to her back. Can't hear the voice! No! Damn it! Now look at her, choosing to die yet again, rather than accept herself as the bitch she is. Sorry, there's a fly on my table. I catch glimpses of a murderer who used the blood of innocence for a dastardly spell. The blood of her own lovers, too. But that's not me! It can't be. It can't be. It can't be. Me. No! Oh. Credits. <laughs> well... Thanks for watching, guys. That's great. <laughs> By the way, these are some slow ass credits. Wait, is there a song? Wait, I don't want to hear the song right now if I'm supposed to. No, I want to. If. No! Oh, wait. Oh, wow. These are links. That's very cool. But wait, no. No, I want to hear. I want to hear this all later when I finish the game properly. Not when I get a bad end from. <laughs> Not that. Not when I get a bad end from. <laughs> Fuck. Where's my auto save? Okay. Oh wait. Load. 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 Yes. Okay. <laughs> I think you didn't change the right text there, sir. <laughs> okay. Um. So. Obviously, that was not the right ending. I was not expecting it to be, but I didn't expect it to be so intense. It was just one choice, girl. <laughs> investigate. I should investigate at least one more time. I'll turn over every stone and smash every glass bottle in this joint, then escape. There has to be an answer in here somewhere, in order for me to survive. Or better yet, come back to life. I have the feeling these tunnels were used for bootlegging rare magical potions at some point. I've stumbled on too many bottles to doubt my conclusion. But there's more I'm missing. A clue, a hint perhaps, that will solve this riddle of my afterlife once and for all. 
Armed with a pen, a notebook, my wits, and what's left of my ghastly body, I use my translucent palm as a flashlight, breathing in the sharp smell of rotten eggs. Sulfur? I don't know how I can smell it, but I'm sure it's sulfur overpowering my senses. It's like I'm in the pits of hell. Oh, here we go! Picture. Hello? I picked up the picture, but nothing happened. Oh, here. Photo. It looks so familiar, almost evil. I think I saw her on a wanted poster before. Okay. Rock! The rock is not in the notebook. Where the- Oh, oh, I can move the rocks! Got you. Card. Lock? Lock? Ying? Wang? Huang? What? Blood banker. Who can this be? This- doesn't sound like a name. <laughs> Never mind, I guess they just spell it differently. Okay. Oh, a safe. A lock! A lock. But where's the key? Or why would you want to open this lock? It doesn't open anything! <laughs> it's just an empty lock! I would- you open it and nothing happens? Hello? Okay. Claw. The bloody golden claw. Royal lichens use them as weapons. Okay. Oh my god, are you serious? How did this- wait, what? How did this happen again? THEY DISABLED ROLLBACK?! Are you for real right now? Are you for real? Okay, bro. Oh my god, I will- I can't believe this game, of all the games, disabled rollback? Okay. Hello, the rock didn't move. Okay, so there's this side, this side, and there's this side. A claw. Okay. Wait, was I supposed to then do this once I have all the clues? Snatched away. Never mind. My clues are useless. Oh, I can't skip, so this must be a new section, even though it's the same stuff. Okay. <laughs> uh, Zane was the furry, right? <laughs> I won't tolerate any more waiting, bloodsucker. Strill had better fall for your goddamn bait this go-around or I'll rip the rest of your head. And then Lazarus was the British guy? <laughs> That's not the problem with your main butts. No couth, no patience, no eye for spectacle. I assure you, our lovely little star adores a good hunt. She'll fall into our trap, all right. If playing reporter doesn't jog her memory, I don't know what will. Ah, it seems we have a guest, old friend. A guest? Hmm. The werewolf turns and growls in my direction, while the vampire snarls a, a demonic grin, offering me his bloody claws. Oh, excuse us, little pup. Glad to see you're back from the dead. No, oh, pardon us, sweetheart. We didn't see you there. What a wonderful night. In the glorious black moon, you have returned to us. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. I thought I was going... Dying again, but I guess I'm not. Very calm down. I'm annoyed that somehow I went searching for an exit, but found myself back at the start of my demise. I mean... They're both covered in blood, and we're all alone. I remember our relationships being volatile, volatile, but not to a deadly degree. I can't do deep voices, man. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Wonderful. Do you think you finally figured out how to return to us? We should celebrate. I was starting to suspect she was a little daft, unable to catch a hint. You know what I mean? They share a laugh, and I grimace, wondering why my non-existent heart starts fluttering. Okay, girl. You need it. <laughs> 
<laughs> Therapy. Okay. I smell hormones in the air. Rosewood. Zane's distinct scent. <laughs> Damn it, the stupid cologne you use. Okay. I can also feel the spellbinding tug of La Lazarus's allure. A vampire's most powerful weapon of seduction. The evidence is clear. We were an item, Lazarus and I, saying me, at one point in time before our gruesome deaths. Oh, okay, wait, so it wasn't Thumb who killed us? I thought it was Thumb who killed us. <laughs> I thought they both, like, found out that I was two-timing and then proceeded to kill me. And then now I'm like, oh no, what happened? <laughs> what went wrong? Okay, I guess that's not the case. Then I just read the itch.io page wrong then. <laughs> That's assuming they're dead too. Lazarus has a nasty wound on his neck, but appears rather chipper. That's assuming they're dead too. Oh wait, yes. <laughs> Zane, well, he appears healthy and happy, albeit slightly older than I remember, with grey tinting his <coughs> long dreadlocks. How long have I been down here? I would love to shower you with the rapturous kisses on this most holy all Hall Hallows Eve, Estrella. Don't listen to that sly vamp. He has evil intentions, always. You can bet on that. As if a pure thought had ever crossed- <laughs> Sorry, that was him. As if a pure thought has ever crossed- As if a pure thought ever crosses your mind regarding Estrella. What? She's my main bloodsucker. If I want to imagine ravishing her every second of every hour, that's my right as her alpha. This makes me uncomfortable reading. Silence, insolent mutt. Respect your elders. Now, let us let us enter the vault, finally, shall we? Fine, enough of small talk and catching up. Lead the way, Lazarus. I'm getting sick of this mushy dungeon and these dusty walls. Ouch, fuck! That little game didn't open this damn vault yet. This illusion of an old open door can fuck right off. Damn it, how many times do I have to tell you that we need the key? You'll fry your brain one of these days. Uh, oh gee, I wonder which choice I'm gonna wear. Sorry. <laughs> I take Ultimate Games very seriously, can't you tell? Okay. <laughs> How I became enamored by such foolish fiends is beyond me. Regardless, there to the key to my salvation. Oh, State the Vampire. I'm going down the list. He seems to have a weaker, the weakest link between them. And I remember him having a masochistic streak. It'll be easy to break once I press him up for answers. Oh, why do I have the pleasure of being in your presence alone? Don't worry about Zane, he's off trying to break that magic seal with his bricks for brains and brute strength. As he twirls a strand of his hair, looking at me with such reverence, all I can think is that he's so pathetic. <laughs> Aren't these the same thing? Yeah. Pathetic man. Pathetic? Oh, locking, locking Kwong. Bloodbanker, eh? What hand to me, wench? You're not talking so big now, beloved. Answer me. Did you kill me? Did I unveil your, your secret? I don't know who that is. I tighten my, tighten my grip on his arm, not allowing him to play them. Whatever life you stole when you abandoned your past is none of my concern. I only want mine back. No, I didn't steal your my life or take yours, but you're killing me right now. What? <laughs> You should have burned your past in a vat of acid, lest it leave a trace like the ID card I found. I only recall what's beneficial to you, but I know the whole story. You desire to be on top no matter what. All the treasures you have stored here, and something else we've been dying to get our hands on. Then offer me your heart as a token of your love, and maybe I'll keep you, keep, let you on the- <laughs> Maybe I'll let you in on the secret. No can do. Dying in your arms would be divine. But killing in your name would be pure bliss, and we'll make a killing baby with this. What? <laughs> His claws twist inside me before finally pulling out a- what? He? What? 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 <laughs> Lazarus pulls away, shooting through the vault with this mystical key buried deep inside me. Hello? Then Zane seizes me, backing me against- the wall bars the wall. My body quivers, fading in and out as he comes my jaw with ice cold claws. <laughs> I shouldn't be able to feel. Who could guess that we just needed to rearrange our guts to find the key to your heart? That 
I feel like this could be interpreted differently. Let go of me! Make me. I should push Zane away, hex him. What? I... what? <laughs> uh... Well, non-consensual anything is never good. What? What are you doing? I flee inside and Zane gives chase. We entered a vault without a hitch. However, I'm forced to watch in horror as Lazarus sneaks up behind Zane. Having taken, having taken his golden clasp, but knows to me. Oh, old friend. Uh, <clears throat> sorry. <clears throat> but oh, old friend, this wicked bitch has gotten on my nerves so bad, I don't feel like splitting the treasure she holds. When did we... When did we... What? Okay. She's restarted the cycle of miseries too often for my liking. This may all be Estrella's fault, but two heads are better than three after the same prize. Ugh! I have to try to stop him, try to save yourself, surrender yourself. Uh, I... Gotta run! <laughs> I move to stop him before my mind gets stuck in a loop at Lazarus's strange words. How is this all my fault? What does he mean that I started the cycle of mystery? Oh, what's this? Is she unraveling again? Don't try to change the topic so fast if he's trying to stab me, you freak! What's happening to me? No, 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 oh no. no, no! What? It's happening again! My body is falling apart. Tick tock, tick tock. <laughs> oh, how many rare black moons must come and pass until Estrella frees her. My mind is unraveling. False memories flood my intact, tainted love, doomed from the start. Blossoms in the corner. And then there's me, as a queen pen. I am haunted by visions of a fallen. I catch glimpses, but that. What can I say, Lazarus? Who ever heard of a hexed ghost when this all started? All we wanted, now look at her. Choosing to... It was glorious, wasn't it? When she dropped the little noir. Regardless, I told you to make her stop. That routine of hers drove her crazy. Now it's too late. My vision is fading. Like a TV. I don't want to die. But it's fine. We what? wait. We watch. And then we strike again. Wait, what? The line is wrong. <laughs> nothing, dear friend. Oh. It costs us nothing to wait. Estrella is a priceless gem. You're right. What's another Help. 50 or 100 years? <laughs> no, the line! To see the Queen of Darkness in all her glory once again. To have a shot at the treasure she's taken to the grave. Nothing, dear friend. It costs us nothing to wait. Yes, worth more than the most ancient blood or purest of gold. Zane and Lazarus. My voice is but a whisper as the last bit of my being gives out. Help me! No can do. Last time you tried to slit my throat for trying to tame you. We'll see you soon, sweetheart. Rest easy now. Yes, little pup. Surrender to the darkness. No! What? I'm confused. I feel like it's going in this direction that I'm not... I'm... I won't enjoy. <laughs> I feel like I won't like I oh I've realized too now that my content warnings are wrong. Oops. Did I put content warnings for here? I don't know. Oh there is. Adult language, body horror, scenes of psychological distress. Well, I mean adult language. Might as well put it here now. Better late than never. Body horror. Psychological. Yes. But yeah, um, <clears throat> I feel like this is going in a direction that I don't want. Don't want to go in. <laughs> as in, what? I'm supposed to surrender? It feels like. What? I... Okay, well, I'll save my choices, but yeah. Pathetic man. Okay. Oop. Hex. 
It'll smell on you, a hex you'll never recover from. from. But you will. I can't wait to watch you try. Oh wait, no. that was not Zane. Was that Zane? It was Zane. Okay. <clears throat> How delightful! I think it's time we recall why you belong to us, and we to you. I push him away, trying to put some needed distance between us. What are you doing? I flee inside, and Zane gives chase. I enter a vault without a hitch. However, I'm forced to watch in horror as Lazarus sneaks up behind Zane, having taken his golden club. But no, unbeknownst to me. Oh right, there is this thing. Key. It seems I had the key to my soul all along. Okay, so this is the vampire. This is belonging to Zane the werewolf. Key. Photo of us? <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> okay. Whoa, you didn't do your screens correctly. St okay, stop, she. Don't pick. Alright. Ta ta, old friend. This wicked bitch has gotten on my nerves. Blah, 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 blah. She's been started the cycle of misery, too, for my life. Blah, blah, blah. Ah, I have to. Uh, okay, so instead of trying to stop him, seems like I need to. Or instead of trying to save myself, stop him. No! I try to stop Lazarus Lockhart, but I'm too late! Of course, I can feel him bending me to his will until I'm attacking Zane in his steed. What? what? What's happening to me? Damn you both! My hands tremble as I'm forced to kill my werewolf lover by his command. What? Using the same golden claw recovered in the tomb. What? Oh, marvelous, darling! Isn't it? I don't think my allure alone compelled you to finish him off so spectacularly. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Lazarus wraps his blood-soaked palms around my neck as I shudder, feeling him feed on my soul as I dissolve into the void. Look, sweetheart, I don't have eternity to get entwined with yet another bullshit seance to bring you back from the dead. You will follow my orders, or I'll crush your pathetic excuse for a soul, Estrella. I'll drain you dry, sweetheart, after you cough up your secrets. Your blood song is sweet, but revenge will be sweeter if you don't obey me. I say nothing, knowing I have no choice as he tugs on the spiritual tether binding me to his soul. Now, lead the way to your treasures. I may allow you to stay in this in-between existence. I am now bound to Lazarus Lockhart forevermore. A wicked, fallen woman. But most importantly, his thrall. Oh. Oh, haha, ha, I get it. That's the, why the name of the thing is that. I was wondering, I was like, isn't Thrall, like, not a good word? <laughs> Crazy! Okay, um, we need to find something better. We need to find a better ending to end it on. Come on. Okay. Oh, wait, no, no, I didn't mean to save! I thought I was loading! No! Why did you change this text to be the same for everything? It's so confusing! Okay. Uh... Uh, try to save yourself. Well, I just end up with the same. How is this my fault? What is my start of the cycle of misery? Oh, what's this? Is she unraveling again? Try to take the top so fast if you try to stab me. What's happening? No! no! What is this well, that does not sound pleasant. Okay. Uh, what if I push him away, but then I'm gonna stop him? Lazarus wipes Zane's blood. Oh. He offers power. His voice is like oh shit, what the- Wait, 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 I thought this was the same situation, but it apparently was not the same situation! once hammered against my ghostly chest. Oh. Which, look away. <laughs> so, wait, so this is- I try to stop him, right? But, um... Okay, wait, I tried to- so instead of hexing him, I- I- I don't do that. I just run away. And then I try to stop him, and then something happened. <laughs> 
Okay. Lazarus wipes Zane's blood from the wolf skull and claw and cover her okay. cave. Okay. Obviously, the blood so tan, I take it. Slowly coming back together, piece by his inch by an unforgiving inch. Power surges through me, as well as fear memories that don't feel like my own flooding in. Oh, look, sweetheart, I don't have eternity to get entwined with another bullshit scions to bring you back from the dead. Let's take the money and split it in two ways. Split it two ways. You and me against the world, baby. What do you say, Estrella? Aren't we both dead? What does this money mean to us? What are we gonna do with the money? What, spend it in dead people town? <laughs> like, like, what? His voice is like a ca caress, and his pain grazes my neck, palm resting where a beating heart once hammered against my ghostly chest. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll just let her narrate it properly, and I'll sink down here. My sweet, your blood song cries out for me. You were made for me, and I for you. <laughs> I know it's wrong, yet it feels so right to succumb, knowing I have no real choice to reject Lazarus as he tugs on the spiritual tether binding me to his soul. I am now bound to Lazarus Lockhart forevermore, a wicked, fallen woman. But most importantly, his thrall. A new one intertwined by eternity. <laughs> Ending one, his thrall slash positive. Ending two, his thrall slash negative. <laughs> you know, as an outsider looking in, I don't see any of these as um optimal endings. <laughs> okay, cool. Um Okay, so if I push Zane away and then render myself. Oh wait. Enough bloodshed, what do you want? Whatever whatever we are, I surrender. Let us end this cycle of tragedy. It's finally woken up, a psychopath. His <clears throat> name's Zoe, freak. Yes. <sighs> yes. Mom? I can feel my body starting to come together. Flesh knitting against bone. Revived bit by bit. Piece by piece. Until I'm made whole. Sighing sweetly, I rest against Zane's broad chest as Lazarus nuzzles my neck listening to the beautiful rhythmic thudding of their rapidly beating hearts. How grand, Zane! Our mistress of the darkness is back. Oh, we have waited for what felt like an eternity for you to return to us in all your corrupt glory, my queen. It's wonderful, all right. Together, we will be unstoppable. Not a single soul will kneel before us in this world or the next, Estrella. Slowly. Memories flood my entire being, evoking nostalgia for a life I once lived, yet had forgotten, locked away inside of my head, just like the key to my tomb was buried within my soul. Our tainted love I thought doomed from the start, blossomed into an empire born in darkness. I walked a tightrope between a twisted vamp and a ravenous werewolf, straying from the path of righteousness before i decided the corrupt bastards i reported on would serve me my men cashed in on my revenge so i no longer had to choose between them yes i was reborn as a queen pen with two monstrous enforcers by my side sowing fruits of tragedy using the dirt i dug up as a journalist to destroy my rivals in crescent city i am delighted by my visions of a fallen wicked woman without morals or limits. I catch glimpses of a murderer who used the blood of innocence for a dastardly spell. The blood of her own lovers, too. And that bitch was me, I... Our princess is back, Lazarus. No, you're right. Our queen. All we ever wanted was for our sweet, corrupted pup to return to her pack. And now you have come back to us. Better than before. Lead us now to your secrets, the spells of destruction you hid away in your heart and took to the grave, so that we may not only rule Crescent City, but this entire wretch world. Oh, it will be glorious. No more tiptoeing around playing the part of the good little noir cop. Embrace yourself, as we have done. All six of my senses are heightened, as my body rejects the void. Zane. Lazarus, my voice is but a whisper, as consuming passion ignites my spirit, evil and lust coursing through me as I reclaim first my body, 
and then my throne. Nothing good ever came from being enthralled by the supernatural. But having two thralls at my beck and call was priceless. The greatest gift that could ever been given. Let us enthrall our enemies. The Queen of Darkness has returned. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay. I see. Um. Alright. Well, that's not what I thought would happen when I surrender. <laughs> Basically, surrender or be a bad guy. Or keep your morals and um uh become a slave <laughs> but that's what thrall means either be the slave or own the slave <laughs> okay <clears throat> oh wait 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 I'm gonna save here, and then I'm gonna load from here. We're gonna listen to the song at the end, okay? <laughs> I didn't realize that was gonna go into that ending, but I I have a I have the structure of the game laid out in my head now. <laughs> he seems the strongest, like the strongest between the two, and I remember him being all about dominance. As our fearless leader, I'm sure Zane will have the answer they seek. Oh, uh, why have you snuck on up on me, darling? Don't worry about Lazarus. He's all con concocting another failed spell to get inside the vault with that big brain of his. Hello? Okay, not gonna lie, secretly, in the bottom of my heart, I was wishing for an ending where it's Zane and Lazarus together. <laughs> I do not care for Estrella. Maybe it's because she's, um, the MC, but, like, I'm just saying... You know, if you ever played Coffee Talk, shut up, see? <laughs> As he stands with arms crossed and chest flushed out, he's looking at me with such satisfaction, all I can think is that he's so <laughs> worthless. <laughs> worthless? Watch your mouth, wench. He regards me coldly and the air is charged. I have the upper hand for once since I rose from my grave. A royal lichen masquerading as a biker, gangster, punk. How vile. You should have tried a little harder to hide your claw. Only upper-class werewolves have access to that type of refined gold. You only recall what you want to, but I know the whole story. Your desire to be on top no matter what. The treasures you've stolen from us will be recovered today. Mark my words, what you have hidden will be revealed or you'll die by my claw. What are you doing? Oh wait, there's no, there's no prison bar slamming? Okay. We entered the vault without a hitch, although I forced to watch in horror as Zane sneaks up behind Lazarus, trying to slit the rest of his throat. But the ID he stole unbeknownst to me. Goodbye, old friend. This wicked bitch will reveal his treasures today. What is? Or what? <laughs> what are? She has restarted the cycle of misery. Oh, that's still saying. She has restarted the cycle of misery enough, and now we're in my way. That the pathway is open after all these years. Uh, I have to try to stop him. No! Oh, I try to stop Zane Pagan, but I'm too late. Worse, I can feel his firm ones bending me to his will until I'm attacking Lazarus in this deed. What's happening to me? I'll see you in hell. A little murder goes a long way to soothe the soul. His damn theatrics were getting on my last nerve. I quiver. Dropping Lazarus's business card, finishing the job of slicing his head off, compelled by Zane's pheromones. Okay. He grips the back of my neck, growling, transforming as I'm forced to submit. Ah, Estrella, former head bitch in charge. I should kill you where you stand. But I'm a generous leader. You lead me to the money, and I allow you to live. I remain king of the pagan MC. And maybe I'll offer you some scraps along with your pathetic life. What do you say, Estrella? There's nothing I can do but fall in line, my spiritual tether binding me to a soul. I am now Zane Pagan's possession forevermore. 
a wicked, fallen woman. But most importantly, enthralled by my alpha, marching lockstep under his command in a dance of death. Um, okay. Well, uh, that was not awesome. <laughs> Okay. He is beneath me! <laughs> Meant to serve who? You? Surely you're joking. Zane seizes me, backing me up against the bar, and my body equipment is facing the nose. He make sure that the eyes close while well, they shouldn't be able to feel. <laughs> Imagine the narrator just like, uh, uh. <laughs> who could've. who could've quest? <laughs> Uh, we just needed to rearrange your guns to find a key to your heart, okay. Wait, then how did we get in before? <laughs> how did we get in the vault without finding the key before? And before, we just, like, talked to you and we got in. Okay. Um, Hemi, you fake gangster, you play punk, you want to be back here, but you're just a real brat clawing at stolen valor. I recall now that you were born the only alpha to a filthy rich pack, but then you fell from the grace, bastard son. Then your other daddy rejected you too. You stole his gang and rode off into the sunset. Bravo, Miss Reporter. You should know I used to lock to bash his head. The same magical lock with the matching key you stole to hide what is my inheritance as your alpha. What? You only recall what you want to, but I know the whole story. Your desire to be on top no matter what. The treasure you stole from us will be recovered today. Let go of me. Make me. Oh no, not the stomach thing again. But killing in your name would be pure bliss, and we'll make a killing. A little puff with this. His golden claw twist inside of me before finally pulling out a key. Who would have guessed that we just needed to rearrange the gods to find a key in your- Yeah, you, 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 you said that already. You said that at the start. Zane storms inside, shooting through his vault with this mystical key buried deep inside of me. What Lazarus tries to grab me, but I'm fast as lightning, seizing him, pinning him to the bars as he quivers and moans with barely reflexes. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> oh my god, can you not be horny on main? <laughs> the key. <laughs> because your soul was inside you all along. Shut up, liar. Lockhart. Ha. Huh. More like locking, locking Kwong, bank, blood banker, am I right? I haven't the faintest clue who that is. Tell me the truth. I should break him. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, names. All right, I'll break you if you don't tell me what you have planned. You will. I can't wait to watch you try. I free him with a grunt. Grunt? Trying to put some needed distance between us so I can track down Zane. Wait, what are you doing? I flee inside, and Lazarus gives chase. I enter the vault without a hitch, however, I'm forced to watch the horror and say, Oh, here we go. ID time. No! Oh, no! No! What's happening? A no. little murder goes oh, wait, a long this is way to soothe the snow. Enthralled by my alpha. Okay, alright. Uh, yes. Okay. <laughs> what are you doing? I flee inside, and Lazarus gives chase. Enter the vault without a hitch, however, I'm forced to watch in horror. Okay, okay. Uh so, so instead of trying to stop him, I wait. No, I tried no, I tried to stop him. No! I tried to stop the same page, but I'm too late. A little murder goes a long way. I quiver, he a power surges through me. My sweet let's take the money and split it. What his rugged voice weaves through my mind. Claws grazing my ghostly spine, tugging me into his warm, solid embrace. You and I were made for each other. Fated mates. Corrupted souls. We can rule this wretched world. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's wrong, yet it feels so right to surrender as he tips my chin up and captures my lips in a sinister kiss. My spiritual tether binding me to his soul. I am now mated to Zane Pagan forevermore, a wicked, fallen woman. But most importantly, enthralled by my alpha, his promises imprinted in my twisted heart, his love inescapable. 
Okay. So it seems... Okay, so it is kind of how I thought it was gonna be like. So it's two endings. One good, one bad. Sort of. For both of the die characters dies, right? One is thrall. You become a thrall slash positive. The other is you become a thrall slash negative. <laughs> and then... And then there's one ending, one bad ending where you just melt into nothing. And then there's one ending where you end up with both of them. So, um, cool. All right. <laughs> you have bloodshed. What do you want? Whatever we are, Serenity lives and the cycle of tragedy. Okay. Yes. I can <laughs> okay. Wait, is there a song? I heard there's a song. Tide of dividing you for me, and yet I still can't reconcile us. I slam and thought that I could mend where captive hearts doomed in the end. As we consume the fruits of tragedy, our illusion of love distorts. False memories and great nostalgia. Very cool. Oh, oh, repeat. Okay, all right. <laughs> okay. Um, actually, wait, no, I'll. Oh, wait, no, no, it's, it's all okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, cool. Um, the gallery button doesn't work, <laughs> the ending button also doesn't work, so, um, Let's talk about this game. <laughs> okay, well, first of all, um, I think that, you know what, this isn't even about the story. This isn't even about, like, um, like the writing or anything about that. I think, honestly, I think writing-wise, it's fine. Um, it's like it's okay. I'm not a big ultimate game person. Um, I do like ultimate games, but you know, I don't go out of my way to play them because well, because I'm I'm just not the type of person who's like easily entranced by fictional romance towards me. It's okay when it's two people outside of me, but um otherwise yeah. Anyway, so um but I mean, like, ultimate games, sometimes they're fun to play, they're cool, okay? So... I'm- I'm okay with the story. It's- uh, it's not my cup of tea. I don't really like, um... Well, I'm- I'm sure you could tell. <laughs> Some of the topics here, which is- it's fine if you do like them, like, more power to you, it's just not my thing. <laughs> uh, which, honestly, I should have known before going into this game, but I- I just thought the art was really good, okay? I saw the art and I was like, wow, this looked really nice. So here I was. <laughs> I, I got I got brought in because the art was really good. Um the CGs and the like the ending, the bad end CG where she's like melting was really really cool. Um uh, I think like the sprites and everything, like it's all it's all really the art is all done really well. Um, and honestly, I think like like the button design, the logo and everything, it's all really good stuff. It's just... The programming... <laughs> it's, 
And, I don't know, it, it, this is probably because I also make games, so I can say this from a perspective of a person who makes games. Like, I know exactly where your bugs are. <laughs> I know exactly what your issues are and what you need to do to fix them, and which is why it's very hard for me to overlook it. You know what I mean? Right? It's like, yeah. So, um, you know, it's just, it's like, it's like surface level thing. Like, like this menu is, I don't know if this was the intention, but, um, like this, you have this cool design here, you're not using it to your advantage, you just have the default RenPy menu layout. Which is fine, like, you don't need to do anything fancy, but it's it's weird when you have this cool key situation going on, but you don't use it to your advantage. You know, like, you could have the, like, the text here, this load text here, and have, like, the buttons in this bottom half of the circle or something, and, like, move this down here or something, I don't know. I don't know, it's like you could use the background to your advantage a little bit more, or like you could have made a background that sort of uh, works with this sidebar thing that Renpai uh, usually has, right? Um, it could also be like, oh well, you know, I was planning to do that thing, but like, you just ran out of time, which is totally fine, totally understandable. but. Uh, you know, if I am reviewing a game, I'm here to talk about the things. So, yeah, that. That plus the text box, which, by the way, I don't think is... I think the text box, like, first of all, it looks fine. It's just, like, I'm not sure what the... Um... <laughs> I'm not sure what the idea was behind this design, which is this, like, right here, this line right here. Why? <laughs> I don't really get why this is here. Maybe it's just, like, the leftovers from this box with the name and everything. But this, uh, it's a bit strange. Um, that also with how the character name text sits in it. It feels a bit weird, I'm not sure. Um, but it does look cool, and I like the whole aesthetics of it. Um, I feel like this also, your quick menu, which is on the bottom here, like if I go here. So the quick menu, right? This thing on the bottom with history, skip, auto, blah blah blah. This could easily be moved into this tiny section here, maybe? I don't know. It's just like... Yeah, there's just like things, there's things you could have changed, man. <laughs> it's a lot of formatting stuff, but that's just how it is. Um, and then other than that, it was like the what? Uh, this thing? Wait, no, not that thing. What am I, what am I talking about? If I go back here, and then if I go to main menu, right? It says leaving so soon, love, and I'm like, okay. Right? That makes sense, because I'm going to the main menu, so I'm technically kind of quitting the game. It's the same if I click exit, right? But then, when I do load, right, it says leaving so soon, love, and I'm like, wait, did I load or did I exit? I'm not sure. Because usually Renpai says, like, oh, uh, are you sure you want to load this file? Because then your save will be, your current save will lose progress, right? And it's very helpful to have it be different, because sometimes it's very hard to tell, because the load and save pages on Rempire are very similar. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, that's just how it is. Yeah, okay. But, um... Yeah, that's all my nitpicking. Uh, otherwise, I think... I think everything else is pretty good, honestly. Um... And the story is not my cup of tea. I would have been way more into it if Lazarus and Zane decided to date each other. That would have been cool. But unfortunately, it's not that type of game. <laughs> I still think they should, though. I don't know. I feel like the slight banter that they had during the two seconds where you choose, like, whether to go with Lazarus or Zane is, like, all I needed. It's like, mmm, that fed a crumb in my soul. <laughs> That's all I needed, thanks. <laughs> But yeah, okay, cool. <laughs>
Thanks for watching! I went through all the endings, I wasn't planning to, but it ended up happening anyway because I got a bit confused on the story. It, it's a bit wonky at times. I think, like, I kind of got the gist of what was going on. Um, but it was like... Uh, I don't know, man. It was... it was... Too much for me. Too much... <laughs> like, yeah. Well. Yeah. Oh right. Also, I think I would I would have liked it if the puzzle slash mystery solving part was a bit more mystery solving uh, than just kind of hold to you at the very after you find the clues. Because when you find the clues, you haven't even met these two guys yet, and you're like, well, <laughs> and then all of a sudden. And then all of a sudden she's like, oh yes, this clue, it relates to you. And I'm like, how would I have known that before meeting, before seeing these guys? And I'm like, I know she's known them in the past, but like us, the player, we had no idea. So this was a shock to us, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, anyway, I ship Zane Lazarus and I hope they get together and, and ditch, <laughs> and ditch Estella, or, or Estrella, yes. All right, I say. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna. I have more games to play, but we checked this one off the list. Hooray! I'll be back in like five seconds, so stick around if you want to keep watching. Spooktober games. Woo! Let's go! Yay! Okay. <laughs> See ya. <laughs>